Hello and welcome to Skitty Animates. I'm Skitty and today I'm going to talk about lip sync. This is also the first video where I'm putting a webcam on screen as well as Maya, so let me know in the comments below what you think of this format and if it was any more helpful to you. So this video is going to have two major sections in it. The first one is going to be about making the lip sync shapes and the second part is going to be applying those shapes as well as polishing the animation. So if you already know how to make the lip sync shape, skip to the time code that I put on the screen here and it'll take you to part two. Before you start making your shapes, I recommend that you download a Maya script called Pose to Shelf. I'll put a link in the description below for where to get that, and it also has a video on how to install the program, so I'm not gonna get into that. But what this allows you to do is take your lip sync poses and make buttons on the shelf for them. It'll save an infinite amount of time. So let's go to frame zero and start talking about some shapes. There's nine basic mouth shapes that you should definitely make. Those shapes are N, MVP, FV, LTH, U, CH, O, E, and A. Uh. You can definitely make more variants of these poses, but these are kind of like the essential ones. Some people also like to make happy and sad variants of these, but for simplicity's sake, I just made neutral ones. We're gonna edit these poses later anyway. When making these nine shapes, it's okay to reference a lip sync chart that you could find all over Google Images, but in my personal opinion, it's a lot better to have either a mirror or a webcam at your desk so you can essentially talk to yourself and see how your own mouth moves. And that doesn't mean that these charts are necessarily bad, but everything we do is an interpretation of real life. And that includes these charts. So if you're referencing something that's already a drawing, then you're interpreting an interpretation of real life. So the more natural thing to do is to look at real life itself. So if you've got your mirror or your webcam and you're watching yourself talk, the biggest thing that you're gonna look for is how the muscles actually move on your face. A big mistake that people make during lip sync is treating the mouth as if it just opens and closes, but there's a lot more to it than that. The muscles in our face are wrapping around, so instead of the mouth just opening and closing, it's actually pulling your muscles up towards your eyes and down towards your jaw. Your poses will look much more natural if you take this into consideration when making them. So let's look at these nine poses individually and talk about them. The first one that we have is the N. And this pose can be used for a lot more than just N, but N is the main one. So the mouth opens slightly, but it's not pulling too far to the sides. It's kind of just a relaxed opening of the lips. The teeth typically stay closed or are at least mostly closed. If we go to the MBP shape, this is for all of your M's, your B's, and your P's. Anything that closes the mouth completely and pushes the lips together. So when you do this, your mouth pulls this way towards your jaw. It's not a very relaxed pose. Typically when you apply this pose, you're going to want to hold it for an extra frame so it's there for two frames. That way you feel the full impact of the mouth actually closing. The next shape here is the F and the V. So this is when the bottom lip curls under your top teeth, the corners of your mouth pull back a little bit, around the same amount as with the N, and the top lip opens slightly. Next we have the L and the TH. So this will be your pose when you're using your tongue to talk. You put your tongue between your teeth. Go for your th and your U. Uh. Again, the mouth is open slightly, about the same amount as the N. Next we have the OO sound. Mouth is slightly open, the teeth are slightly open, but the lips are really First together, the muscles are wrapping from the back of your face forward. Next we have the ch sound. So your teeth are together, the lips open, it kind of exaggerated a little more than the oo sound. The shape can also work for the sound of k's, but you might want to blend a little bit of the n into it. Next we have the o sound. Everything is pulling back in all directions. And we have the E. You can keep the teeth closed or you can keep them slightly open, but the lips aren't opening very much. It's all pulling back towards your ears. E. And lastly, we have the A, uh, which is similar to the O, but the corners of the mouth are going to be higher than with the O. If you put your fingers on your face and you do A uh, and O, oh, you can feel that your fingers are rising more for the A uh, than they are for the O. Oh. Once you've got the nine basic poses made and you've got your pose to shelf so that they're all there for easy access, 
you can move on to actually doing your lip sync. I'm just gonna select everything here and delete what I've done on frame zero because it will affect what's on frame one. For this video, I grabbed a short clip from The Lion King as I usually do, and I've actually already done the lip sync on this just to show as an example, then I'll delete it and we'll do it again. So here's what the finished clip looks like. I'm surrounded by idiots. I'm surrounded by idiot. I'm surrounded by idiot. I only used these nine basic shapes for this clip. I just went back afterwards to finesse to make it actually go with the dialogue. You can see I gave him a little bit of a snarl at the end here. By idiot. But that's something that you would think about after the basics are already there. Something I like to do to save time. Some people don't agree with this, but it's whatever works for you. I put the lip sync shapes on a separate layer, an animation layer called sync shapes. In order to do this, what I do is select the lip sync controls and then hit layer and create layer from selected. So the only things that can be affected in this sync layer is his mouth controls. And you can see that I have the weight on 0.766, but we'll get into that later. I'm gonna mute this layer and let's look at the base animation layer. I'm surrounded by idiot. I'm surrounded by idiot. Everything's here except the lip sync. So let's select his mouth controls, hit layer, create layer from selected, and it'll create anim layer one. We'll rename this lip sync. So how do we go through and apply the shapes? Well, select all of the lip sync controls and always set a key. You want everything to be set exactly where it is before you begin. Typically what you wanna do is have a new shape every two frames. This will change based on delivery, but two frames is typical. If you have a one frame pop, it's not going to look very good. It's going to look kind of janky. I'm gonna put another pose on frame three because this is silent. You start saying ah uh, on, on frame five. The word I'm is ah, uh, e, and m. So we're gonna go ah, uh, e, and m. And I don't like how much he's opening his mouth for the ah uh, on frame five. It doesn't match with what he's doing. So that's why I put three frames instead of two between here because I wanna grab the frame six and put it on frame five instead. On frame 12, it's an S sound, which could be anywhere from an N to an E, depending. And it could also be a CH sound. Just listen to the dialogue, say it out loud yourself, and see what works for the delivery. I am s it's kind of, kind of a CH and kind of an N. So I put both poses there, and I'm gonna take the one in between. Take frame 13, middle mouse click on frame 12, and set a key and delete frame 14. S Sir kind of goes from an E to an R. I'm gonna put the E sound in there and I'm gonna put the R, which is also a CH and kind of a bit of an O, you can pick whichever, but it doesn't go into a full E sound. So I'm gonna again take frame 15, middle most click frame 14 and set the key. Still think it's too strong. So I'm gonna take frame 15 again. Put another key on frame 22 because he's still in that R sound. And I'm gonna take frame 15 and put it on frame 16 actually. That way there's a little bit of an ease and his mouth doesn't dead stop moving. That's O and O. And then N. Go for the did. His mouth's not going to move that much, but it is an E in there, so I'm going to apply it, and then I'm going to tone it down by taking the middle frames. His mouth actually opens a little bit too, so I'm just going to add that in myself. And then we have I. So that's a B sound, an A uh sound, and an E sound. I. I'm going to put MBP, hold it for an extra frame so it'll read Ah, uh, E. Again, that's too exaggerated of an ah uh for this dialogue. I'm gonna take a middle frame twice to tone it down. His jaw will open here, but it's not really a new shape, so we're just gonna set a key on everything there. 
D is kind of an end sound. Frame 58 sounds like it would be the same as frame 53, so I'm just gonna middle most drag it over. Idiot. Kind of an O, so I'm just gonna take it and take the middle P again. And then this S sound is more of an N, it's kind of a closed one. And then I will ease it out by taking the frame beforehand. This is what it looks like right now with just the basic shapes. I'm surrounded by idiot. I'm surrounded by idiot. You can see there's a weird popping. I believe it's in this control. So if we take a look, you can see there's some weird bumpy things going on here in the rotates. So I'm just going to kill everything that it's doing so it can ease out. Surrounded by idiot. And that just fixed the whole problem. So the next thing that I'm going to do is change everything that I just did because we were lip syncing to the sound that we hear, but the shape always comes before the sound. If you leave the shape to happen at the same time as the sound, it's always going to sound late. So what I do when I'm done my lip sync is I go into the graph editor, just select everything, hold shift and left drag, Push it over by a frame or two. Now let's listen to what that sounds like. Surrounded by idiot. I'm surrounded by idiot. And the next thing that I'm going to do on this layer is take the weight of the layer and push it down around 81%, so 0.81. And what this did probably is a little complicated, but it took the pose on the lip sync layer and blended it into the base animation layer. So any facial expressions that we put in the base animation is going to blend into the final output. Because we put the lip sync layer at 81%, Mathematically, it's going to be 81% lip sync layer and 19% base animation layer. So it's just slightly altering the poses to match better with what you've already animated. Again, there are people out there who think that this is a very long process and that I'm wasting my time, but for me personally, this has saved me a lot of time. I'm surrounded by idiots. So the only thing left to do now is to make it fit the dialogue better. And this is the fun part. It's very quick, very easy. This dialogue, he's obviously annoyed at something, so I like to put a little snarl on that. Always facing the camera though, you don't want to hide it behind him because then it, it just doesn't read. So because he's currently facing screen left, I'm going to take his screen right upper lip and give that a little bit of a snarl. So that's just gonna be the translate Y in your graph editor. And I'm intentionally not grabbing the ones on the MBP sound because when your mouth is fully closed, it wouldn't look right to have a snarl in there. Like that's not physically possible, you can't do that. So I'm gonna leave that pose alone. But for the rest, we can just grab it up a little bit. I'm just easing it out so nothing has a dead stop to it. This is where he's flipping his direction. So this is where I'm going to switch to the other side and give him a snarl on his screen left side. Just grab the translate wise. I'm surrounded by idiot. I'm surrounded by idiot. And just like that, we have a finished lip sync. I understand that it can be very intimidating at first. It was for me because I used to think that I had to pose every lip sync shape every time that I needed it. But once you have the neutral ones on the shelf, it's so easy to change them to what you need them to be. It gets you 80% of the way there. The rest of it is just fun. So I hope this helps lip sync not be so intimidating. Maybe you might enjoy it someday like I do. If there's anything that you didn't understand, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll help you the best that I can. Like and subscribe if you found this helpful at all. And follow me on Twitter. I actually posted the icons for the lip sync buttons on there. So grab those and use them if you want to. And until next time, thanks for watching.